This right here is the Avanza J. Ito ang base model na Avanza lineup. This sells for just 813,000 pesos, which would make it one of the cheapest vehicles that you can buy from a Japanese manufacturer. In this video, we'll do a walk around, we'll check out the exterior, the interior, and we'll try to determine which one is right for you. This one or the Avanza E. So is it worth your money? Let's find out. Here at the front, hindi masyadong halata ang base model ng Avanza J. It looks almost the same as the Avanza E. You'd have to look really close to notice the differences. One difference would be the headlamps. The Avanza J gets halogen headlamps while the Avanza E gets LEDs. Wait lang, I have to correct myself. Hindi pala siya halogens. These headlights are LEDs. The same as the Avanza E. Another difference is that the Avanza J doesn't come with fog lamps. But you do get provisions here for fog lamps in case you want to install them later on. So like the Avanza E and the Avanza G, you also get this massive grille which is painted in flat black. Yeah, so basically, aside from the fog lamps, magkakamuka ang Avanza E, J, and Avanza G. From the side, medyo mas ang base model ang Avanza J. And that's mostly because the Avanza J comes with steelies. So these are 15-inch steelies. Pareho sila ng size ng Avanza E, pero these are not mag wheels. Uh, these are not alloys. Uh, bakal, so mas mabigat. And they're cheaper. Uh, they do come with hubcaps though, so hindi masyadong halata unless you look very closely. The Avanza J comes with disc brakes at the front and drum brakes at the back. It has a torsion beam suspension at the back and a McPherson strut suspension at the front. All variants of the Avanza have the same size. Here are their dimensions. The new Avanza is a lot bigger than the old Avanza, which translates to more interior space. It's also now based on a unibody chassis, so even though it's a lot bigger, it's not a lot heavier. Okay, so here's the back. It's the same as the Avanza E. Um, you get LED tail lamps. You also get a manual lift gate. You get the same amount of space here in the back. Thankfully, the Avanza J doesn't get flat black door handles and side mirrors, which you usually expect on base models. Everything is glossy and body colored. Aside from the fog lamps and the wheels, it looks the same as the E and even the G variant on the outside. The Avanza J gets the same 1.3 liter engine as the Avanza E. This is the 1NRFE engine, which is the same engine as the previous Avanza, but it's been tweaked a bit to produce more power. You only have one transmission option for the Avanza J, and that's a 5-speed manual. Okay, so here on the inside, the Avanza J looks actually very similar to the Avanza E. Um, the main differences are, actually the main difference is the screen. You get a different you get a different infotainment screen on the Avanza J. You don't get Apple CarPlay, you don't get Android Auto, you also don't get a reverse camera. And of course, you get a manual transmission here. This is a 5-speed transmission. Both the Avanza J and the Avanza E have fabric seats, but they have different patterns and different color schemes. Like the Avanza E, everything here is plastic. This is plastic, hard plastic, hard plastic. Even the armrests are made of hard plastic. Um, the steering wheel is also made of hard plastic. Yeah, so basically the only thing that's soft here is the are the seats. And also this uh, shift boot over here, which is made of leather. Um, you do get automatic climate control, single zone automatic climate control. Um, down here, you get one USB port. This is where you'd find the start-stop button on the top-of-the-line model. 
Uh, this one though doesn't come with a start stop button. It comes with a regular old school key which you have to put in the keyhole like so. You get an analog speedometer, an analog tachometer. You get this digital gauge to the right which displays your fuel gauge, your range, your odometer. It's monochrome and the resolution is not that high. But again, what do you expect from a car in this price bracket? Um, the steering is not that heavy. It's not that light either. Now, one thing that I noticed is that the clutch is actually pretty high. The biting point of the clutch is pretty high. So if I let go of the clutch, that's when the car starts moving. Or maybe I'm just not used to it. Yeah, uh, you do get two cup holders here at the front. You get one over here, right next to the air vent. You get another one over here, also right next to the air vent. You get a manual handbrake. You have one 12 volt outlet over here. Yeah, here at the second row, it's the same as the Avanza E. Uh, legroom is okay. Headroom is actually quite okay. You do get fan doors back here. And you have your fan controls over here. Down here you get two USB ports, you get some storage over here. You don't get a foldable armrest, but you do get cup holders on the door cards. Third row space on the Avanza J is the same as the other variants, which means that it's not the most comfortable place to sit for people over 5'6". You also don't get air vents or charging ports. But also like other variants of the Avanza, the Avanza J has a sofa mode. If you don't mind driving a manual, the Avanza J will give you much better value for money than the Avanza E. On the outside, the main differences really are the wheels and the fog lamps. But those are things that you can easily upgrade later on. On the inside, the main difference is the reverse camera and the infotainment screen. But again, that can also be upgraded later on. When I feature a car in this channel, the first thing that I want to know is the price. Because everything is relative to that. The Avanza J sells for 813,000 pesos. So it may be bare on features, but I think at that price point, that is forgivable. This is still one of the cheapest seven-seater vehicles that you can buy from a Japanese manufacturer. Yeah, so if you're the average Filipino Tito, you don't care so much about high-tech features. You just need a dependable seven-seater vehicle for your business or for your family. This is not a bad choice. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.